Hey, how's it going? And today I thought it'd be painful, I mean fun, to take a quick look at Hello World in Verse, the programming language for Unreal Ed for Fortnite. So to do that, we're just going to go launch and it's going to take a minute to load up. And this is kind of cool because there's actually already a project set up with Hello World in it. So it kind of just gives you a quick and dirty look at what the verse language is about. And I'm in the process of learning it myself right now, in addition to a whole bunch of other things related to Unreal Engine for Fortnite. If we come here, we just launched it, the Unreal Engine for Fortnite. And if we come to feature examples, you'll see one right here called Verse Device Starter. And we can just click that and I'll just leave it called My Project H and it should start up. At some point you may be prompted to install Visual Studio if this is the first time you've tried looking at Verse. So I like to say don't be adverse to Verse. <laughs> okay. Now, if we come in here, the project already kind of lays out things for us. So we can just come over here and see what this screen says. It says, in the content browser, find the Hello World device inside the project content folder, creative devices, then drag and drop it into the level. Okay, that seems fair enough. And what does this screen say? Launch session on the top of the toolbar. That's right up there. After starting the game, the text will briefly be visible at the top left from the verse code. Okay, fair enough. And then what does this say? Double click the verse device in the content browser to open it in an editor. Try modifying the code yourself, then click verse build verse code. Try it. Okay, that sounds fun. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll come over here to creative devices and look, they've already got the Verse device for us. And for Verse to compile or run in whatever you're going to do in Unreal Engine Fortnite, you have to create a device and drag it onto the scene. This will not be visible to anybody but, but you. And so it's on there. And we see it over here in the screen. So now, according to the instructions, now that we've done that, I think we want to save and then we want to go ahead and launch session right here. And then it'll say double click the verse device to take a look at the code and try modifying it. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and launch the session. And unfortunately, this part is kind of painfully slow. This takes anywhere from two or three minutes to do and it's kind of an issue. I did a tutorial about the best way to access this. So you can think of this, I like to think of it as two parallel universes. We have the Unreal Engine for Fortnite, which we are in right now, and then we also have access to the creative, Fortnite Creative, which is a game or mode inside of Fortnite that allows you to build worlds and create maps and do all kinds of things. You can basically create a game, a basic kind of mini game using all the assets that come with Fortnite Creative. So the Verse programming language and Unreal Engine Fortnite, Unreal Engine for Fortnite does not replace Fortnite Creative, what they call Fortnite Creative. It complements it. So learning the verse language is supposed to give you increased access to making games and adding more functionality. So right now what it's trying to do is load the creative, Fortnite Creative, what they call Fortnite Creative 2.0. So basically we, when we're running Unreal Engine for Fortnite, now we're in the lobby, so we don't even worry about this. We're just going to hit escape and minimize this, and we'll come back in here because I can see the session is still loading. So I don't want to be thrown off by that. So if you, But if you come down here on the taskbar, you'll see this is our Unreal Engine for Fortnite, and this is our Fortnite Creative. So these are the two parallel universes. And anything that we can do in Fortnite Creative, we can do in Unreal Engine for Fortnite. In addition to, once you understand Verse, programming language, you can start getting in even deeper into creating 
sophistication, added sophistication. But you can see it's still loading the session. So it just takes a long time. Now up here you'll see sometimes it'll say if there's a green check mark, it means that it, 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 there's no changes that it sees. And our device is still within the, the game. So we're, we should be good. So now we should just be able to hit start game. We can click it here. Or we can just come here if I hit escape and start game. So now we're in the game. And you might be wondering where is our hello world message. Well, we can hit tab and go to log. And we should see it here. And I'm not sure why we don't see it, to be honest with you. So let me escape out of that. So starting game again. Did you see it? I think I just saw it in the corner. Let's hit tab again. Yeah, and so you see it here. Hello world, and there's an equation in there. So that's our big reward for what we did. So now if I hit escape again, I don't want to end the game. I'm just going to minimize this so that I don't get trapped up and all that. So this, according to our instructions, we did... I guess it briefly appeared for a second and then it disappeared and then now it wants us to double click the verse device to actually see the language and then we're going to try to modify the code. So I'm going to go ahead and end the game for right now. And again we can do it here in our parallel universe to end the game. I hit escape again and come out of here. So it should be ending the game. And if I double click into here, this device, we should see our verse programming language right here. So this is verse right here. And that's what we saw. We saw this and this. So it's just a question. I can make the screen big. These are usually like what they call headers or import that basically allow us to import functionality. So what I thought it would be fun to do rather than do the same old boring stuff that other people are doing is I thought would be fun is that we can add import in some functionality here doing using the using statement so we're just going to hit enter and we're going to type in in fact why even type it let's just copy this control C and down here we'll go control V and instead of going simulation we're going to type in random and this is necessary for us to be able to access functions within the verse language. So we've added that and now we can add a function. Now we're going to go ahead and just delete this here. We're going to delete that line of code. And we're going to leave uh, print there. But what we're going to type in now is we're going to create a variable name and we're just going to call this my number just like that my number and then the semicolon the colon I excuse me and then we're going to set our variable type int and it's going to equal it's going to call to this get random int function and we're going to put a parentheses and then we just specify the range so let's put a one to I don't know let's get crazy 5,000 1 to 5,000 oops that says unt not int int and that's all we have to do to get a ran that allows us to call the function get random integer and then down here, all we're going to do is let's just copy this line of code, print, and go control C and go up here and go control V. And what we're going to do is just write in this statement and we're going to say the random number is, and then we'll put curly bracket and we'll just write in my number and that should be all we have to do I'm just double checking something here 
yeah, I guess we could put a period here if we want, right there. Because that will... And that's all we're going to do. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to go save all. And we can just close out of this. And we did make some changes. Then we're going to come up here to verse. And we're going to go build verse code. And you notice once we did that, we can push the verse changes that we made. So we're going to click that button there. Go ahead and save. And now that should update the verse code that we just modified. So this is your first line of verse code. <laughs> and again, you know, we're stuck here waiting in traffic for the system to update. So we just, there's nothing we can do. We can just make sure this device is still stays in the game level. I don't know how long this is going to take, but this is the... Okay, so now we can just come in here, down here on the bottom again. This is Unreal Engine for Fortnite. This is Fortnite Creative. And we can just go Start Game and click on the screen. And now, if I hit Tab, I need to log out, I guess. Hit Tab again. Let me escape and start game again. I don't know why we didn't see our... I don't know why my player is not moving here. Wait. It's kind of weird. He can turn. He's like he's locked in position. Let me hit tab. It says success. Let me, es let me escape out of this and try it again. I don't know why we're not seeing in-game. Escape, in-game, escape, come up here. It doesn't, it says game in progress and you just saw I hit in-game but I'm not seeing my changes yet. So I'm not sure why it's not ending. There we go, stopping the game finally. It should have updated with our code that we wrote. So I'm just letting it do its thing and stop. But we'll try it again and see. We built the code. We updated the code. We pushed the change. We should have seen the code in the log. It should give us a random number and say hello world. So here we let's try it again. Let's start play. It says one it wants to push changes here. So I don't see the the green mark there. So that means something's out of date. But then we have to go through this and wait again. So I guess while we're waiting, I can show you one thing here is that if you come into Unreal, you can start ex looking ex exploring all the Unreal editor, the Fortnite documentation. And then it goes into UEFN and Verse, and there's some things that they want you to try to experiment with. And there's the Verse language reference, which is real helpful. And there's expressions and comments and constants, and it just kind of goes over everything. So that's a real helpful resource. Let's go back into Fortnite and see if we can see. Oh, there, I'm moving now. So, yeah, maybe something was just glitchy with it. So let's hit tab. Look, there we have it. See that? The random number is 21, 2183, and that's Hello World. So anyway, I think the best way to learn this is just getting in here and playing around with it, stumbling around and making your mistakes and getting comfortable with kind of switching between these interfaces. So... I think that was the biggest part that I struggled with, was just getting used to, this is Unreal Engine for Fortnite, using this tab on the bottom, coming between Fortnite, and then a lot of times I would just hit escape to gain mouse control and then minimize the screen. But when this loading screen is on, there's actually nothing that you can do. Now there is one other tip I have before I close out, and I'm just waiting 
for this. I can't move right now. This has my screen locked up right now. Okay, so if you hit escape, it gives you mouse control and then you just minimize this. But if you come up here where it says exit session, you wanna make sure that auto start game is not on. I think it used to be on by default, but just make sure it's not because that can get a real mess. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. This is just a quick look at Verse and getting started with Hello World. And we wrote a little line of code and we'll just keep taking it a day at a time. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.